as Omniscient has come to the end of its tether. Rat called boy wing the last, hitting it in second place. Omniscient and then pen to paper and elusive prince, but running out a most easy winners is Rath Gold Boy bouncing back from last time to record a wide margin win from pen to paper. Elusive Prince and Omniscient next at a one night stand at the Palmer Honor. As Omniscient has come to the end of its tether, Rat Gold Boy wing the last, hitting it in second place. Omniscient and then pen to paper and Elusive Prince, but running out a most easy winners is Rath Gold Boy bouncing back from last time to record a wide margin win from pen to paper. Elusive Prince and Omniscient next at a one night stand at the Palmer Honor. Lucky Larin with a companion and Bokel bucked on the inside who made a very bad mistake and it's Lucky Larin handed back an advantage of a length and a half over Bokel Buck who hasn't time to recover. Lucky Larin wins off the top from Bokel Buck who will go down on a lucky loser. Back in third my mate Mozzie and then Barry Linden. Lucky Larin with a companion and Bokel bucked on the inside who made a very bad mistake. And it's Lucky Larin handed back an advantage of a length and a half over Bokel Buck who hasn't time to recover. Lucky Larin wins off the top from Bokel Buck who will go down on a lucky loser. Back in third my mate Mozzie and then Barry Linden. Tar and Jade de Grugy over the last Spindlebury landing running on the outside is Jade de Grugy who's finishing best of all and driven out it's Jade de Grugy getting on top from stable companion Spindlebury Jatar in third as Jade de Grugy in the honeysuckle colours one of the best mares of modern times wins the grade one for Paul Town and Willie Mullins and Kenny Alexander Jatar and Jade de Grugy over the last Spindlebury landing running on the outside is Jade de Grugy who's finishing best of all and driven out it's Jade de Grugy getting on top from stable companion Spindlebury Jatar in third as Jade de Grugy in the honeysuckle colours one of the best mares of modern times wins the grade one for Paul Town and Willie Mullins and Kenny Alexander. Coming to the final flight and it's Captain Cody who leads. Captain Cody goes through the last but is comfortably clear from Loch Glynn and Mossy Fen Park and it's Captain Cody and Jody Townend teaming up to win another race. In second place is Mossy Fen Park, Loch Glynn in third, Gold Dancer in fourth and then Champagne Admiral looking down to the second last flight. Up is Paul Townend as he's attended to. Coming to the final flight and it's Captain Cody who leads. Captain Cody goes through the last but is comfortably clear from Loch Glynn and Mossy Fen Park. And it's Captain Cody and Jody Townend teaming up to win another race. In second place is Mossy Fen Park, Loch Glynn in third, Gold Dancer in fourth and then Champagne Admiral looking down to the second last flight. Up is Paul Townend as he's attended to. Metazor West into the last and over with a widening advantage from Western Diego, Kilbaddy Saint running on and then Sporting Glory, but it's Metazor West restoring winning ways. Winners at every angle today for Willie Mullins, Kilbaddy Saint second, third on the inside was Western Diego and then Sporting Glory in two Saveda. Metazor West into the last and over with a widening advantage from Western Diego, Kilbaddy Saint running on and then Sporting Glory, but it's Metazor West restoring winning ways. Winners at every angle today for Willie Mullins, Kilbaddy Saint second, third on the inside was Western Diego and then Sporting Glory in two Saveda. Trying to fight back the final fence, Captain's nephew over just the leader. Mount Frisco on the inside is not lying down. These two are neck and neck, 150 yards to go. Mount Frisco and Captain's nephew, they're still stride for stride. Captain's nephew on the stand side edge from Mount Frisco, valiant in defeat. Long way clear, figure out.
Trying to fight back the final fence, Captain's nephew over just the leader. Mount Frisco on the inside is not lying down. These two are neck and neck. 150 yards to go. Mount Frisco and Captain's nephew. They're still stride for stride. Captain's nephew on the stand side. From Mount Frisco, valiant in defeat. Long way clear. Figure out. It is Spillane Star from Blood Destiny Tactical Move, the company sergeant at the last Spillane Star over safely from Blood Destiny. And Tactical Move were both bedding down. Then the company sergeant, 100 yards to go. Spillane Star is holding Tactical Move to take Jimmy Mangan back in time in the Willow Warm Gold Cup. Written by Mark Walsh for J.P. McMahon as Tactical Move second, Blood Destiny third. And then the company sergeant. It is Spillane Star from Blood Destiny Tactical Move, the company sergeant at the last Spillane Star over safely from Blood Destiny. And Tactical Move were both bedding down. Then the company sergeant, 100 yards to go. Spillane Star is holding Tactical Move to take Jimmy Mangan back in time in the Willow Warm Gold Cup. Written by Mark Walsh for J.P. McMahon as Tactical Move second, Blood Destiny third. And then the company sergeant. But it is Kopech the board who's going to knock it out of the park on Easter Sunday for Willie Mullins. This is winner number seven. Kopech the board is an impressive winner of the Tattersall's Ireland George Bernard Memorial Sales Bumper Clap of Thunder. Is second for the visitors. Third is Dr. Steinberg, and then we're red and blue. But it is Kopech the board who's going to knock it out of the park on Easter Sunday for Willie Mullins. This is winner number seven. Kopech the board is an impressive winner of the Tattersall's Ireland George Bernard Memorial Sales Bumper Clap of Thunder. Is second for the visitors. Third is Dr. Steinberg, and then we're red and blue.